spell, they do report it. Oh, this really? Is, uh, oh, I've done lots of these. <laughs> oh, have you? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's not, not new. Okay. New for Karen, but not new for me. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, just tell us, tell us a bit about kind of the concept or behind the habitat. Or the concept, what do you mean? Like what the it looks like? Or uh, No, like, uh, I guess, like, kind of the culture that you're trying to develop here you talk on the website there's a lot of talk about having socialization food and yeah well it's always been that way because of the community that bcit being that community so we tried to when we renovated this place two and a half years ago sort of make it that hub for the students so i don't know how long you've been a student here but it's significantly changed the the look and the appeal from what it used to be Mm. even the chairs we're sitting in it used to be basically just chairs and tables and wasn't really an environment where somebody would want to come and just chat and relax Mm. so we were stressing really to sort of make it that way and try and fit all the groups i wouldn't say the, the only one that we sort of felt was be a challenge with this look is some of the trades because they like the older English style bar that it mm. was before, but they everybody seems to have adjusted and fit in well and everybody likes it. Mm. The overall appeal is much better. It's much brighter and even in the evening it's lighter here. So uh, we've, we've accomplished that, I would say. Okay. And in terms of menu choice, did that also adjust as well? or? Uh, To a point, I mean, I think Karen and I, I I mean, we don't want to just be burgers and beer. That still is the things that people buy, but we've tried to update, change, develop to not necessarily with everything that's trendy, but we do research and see what is trendy. So you might see some more trendy items when we do the fresh sheet than more on the regular menu. Uh, But now with the way people's dietary needs are changing with gluten-free and vegan Vegan. and stuff like that Mm -hmm. we're we're trying to hit those marks the challenge is always to hit those marks with food that the people want to buy and still be able to keep it fresh because the the general day-to-day people aren't buying it so Mm -hmm. that's that's the challenge that we face from that regard but i think we're doing okay those items that we came up with are selling. I mean, they don't fly out the door the way a burger does, but at least we're accommodating all those dietary needs. How, and what are some of those items that are that you're talking about that are kind of the more popular ones? The, the more popular like items? Gluten, like, not the burger, like the, fe- the vegan, the gluten-free. Okay. Or like the Beyond Meat, they're yeah. really popular. Right. Because the trend is like this, healthy, right? Mm-hmm. And like some... Like popular item, like even some wrap, we did really good though. Yeah, like chicken avocado wrap, that's mm. not Okay, okay. Uh, in terms of price point, that's also, I would imagine, being a challenge with students here with a bunch of different economic needs. How, do, how have you determined, how did you determine that? We, our biggest thing is trying to be sort of student friendly pricing, but the pub also doesn't necessarily have to make money but it can't be losing money so basically that's how we develop I go through a budget process and we develop the menu around that process of X number of how many we can sell and that is more how we arrive at the price and I'm sure you've heard minimum wage and everything is all going up so the price that maybe we were charging three years ago is just not doable anymore because suppliers raise the price, the wages, everything goes up. Uh, but we're still very conscious of that. So I would say we're very competitive with market. Yes, I know we're the only pub on campus, but if you were sort of to compare our menu to a Browns or even the keg that is somewhat close by, we're less than there. Mm beer we're probably in the same ballpark but there's only so much you can do with alcohol and in general alcohol is what they're trying to drive the student body in Mm. the food 
the food the students will come to eat on a day-to-day -day basis and outside of being really cheap specials it's not necessarily something that gets their butts in the seats and gets them to run through the door right okay now in terms of beer selection i yeah. wasn't I, you brought it up but i just thought about that it's that that also i imagine a little bit of a challenge especially with the craft beer market on yeah, the rise that it but is. But we're very open to that because when we did the renovation, we used to uh, think we had nine taps at that time. Now we got 14. Mm. So we have 10 sort of what we will carry day over day on our regular menu. And then there's three to four that we sort of play with on, I won't say a monthly, but maybe every two or three weeks. If it's really popular, we'll hold it for over a month. If it's one of those ones that sort of doesn't fly out the door it probably only stays for two weeks but we do get student feedback as you see a poster on the wall uh we do sort of tastings with each craft brewery oh, and sort of let the students vote by their tasting so i think that's about the fifth one we're doing this year so fat tug will come this friday they'll come spend friday we pick friday because there's the most volume of people in right. here he'll walk around sample get the feedback and that'll sort of decide based they're not voting per se but they are voting with their mouth right so we'll take that feedback and that'll be the one we'll end up carrying right okay and uh in terms of uh i'll ask about a seasonal menu and then i'll ask about culture stuff like seasonal menu you do you do a seasonal menu or how does that work uh, we change the menu well as seasonal as we'll get uh we tend to change it mainly for the summer months is as best we can do just because it, if you look at the menu and the work that goes into it and we do it all internally our marketing people do it develop it take the pictures and then work with Karen and myself it's a little bit of a challenge to try and do it more than twice a year right. so that's what I would say is about as seasonal as we'll get yeah we do a summer and then we live with the way the menu is with the trend going into April because the first week of May most of the students are gone so before it's really hot outside we're sort of okay with the majority of the stuff that's on there okay are, are you open during the summer yeah okay so, and do you get a lot of uh, uh, we shorten the hours and specifically because the amount of people are here june is okay mm. july and august is yeah. quite quiet right. uh and then before you know it it's the last week of august and we're trying to ramp up and hire and get people here uh, we used to close, but now the director of food operations and I have pavilion, we have a catering department, we have the Weyburn Cafe, and all of those operate year-round other than the two and a half weeks we close at Christmas. So last year was the first year we haven't closed the pub for three weeks in July in the last five years and now just because it doesn't make sense as an organization to shut this one and leave those open mm. so yeah we're open other than those couple weeks at christmas okay. time okay now uh, my last question I, I think will come around like we have a pretty diverse campus yep. with a number of different culture people a number of different countries has that been how have you have you found a way to adapt to that or, or how does that how do you incorporate we, that part we try like i said i mean we've had specifically i don't know we've had noodle bowls and stuff like that what i would say is i think we're executing the product but i think to just hit a niche market with a specific item is a challenge based on the demographics and how often those people are coming but i mean we we do have different varieties on our menu that are not necessarily western based right we've got uh what's the the Lobo. yeah so we've got a nice appetizer that is like a pork belly and that is more asian styled stuff we do yeah. do different sort of noodle bowls more on the fresh sheet so yeah it's uh, we've done curries before on the menu if you're looking for a South Asian dish. So, but you will see more stuff like that. Karen and I would do that more on a fresh sheet than put it on the regular menu. Mm. Uh, and the fresh sheet is sort of our test market. If it does really well on a fresh sheet, mm. then it, you might see it on a future menu that we would probably roll out in the fall or the summer of the okay. following year. Yeah. Okay. Is there any particular dishes that you are you really Karen that you really like making or? That you bake like do you have a favorite dish that you like to do or 
Well, basically, the the this whole menu. I'm not sure. Did you see our menu? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So like Mose is a. I create first, then ask his uh, opinion, and then we pay it together. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's quite international. Not not only the pop food. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. That, that, but do you have a favorite? Do you have yes, a favorite you have that, a that you like? Favorite. Like, do you have a personal like? It's like, oh, I really like making this dish, or you're like, I like doing all of this. It's really I fun. like to do all, all of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, how, nothing really personal. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been a chef? Uh, more than fifteen years. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you been working? Nine years. Nine yeah. years here. And how long have you been here, Mike? Uh, almost twelve. Wow. Okay. So you guys have seen a lot of. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've seen a lot of ups and downs in here, and uh, so, yeah. This year it's a little bit challenging, but I, I can honestly say I feel like I'm competing a little bit with myself now, hmm. because my inspired ideas are now also down in Pavilion, and I can't 100% say that's the fact, but it probably is affecting some of the, the volume of business. We're not down, down, but we are a little bit slower than we've been. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you guys very much for taking some time. I know you're busy, so okay. I will let you go back to your okay. your work. Fabulous. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All right. You.